Hi guys, it's Nikki with Nikki Speaks and I am back with another video. But before we get into it, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. All right guys, you saw the title, you already know what it is. So we're gonna go ahead and jump right into some things. Let's go ahead and start off by talking about Miss Lotto and her current collab that's coming out tonight with Miss Glorilla and Gangsta Boo. Listen, this was one of the songs that was leaked, but it was leaked prior to the 130 songs being leaked and it does drop tonight. Now, a lot of people are saying that they're thinking that Nicki Minaj is the one that's sabotaging Lotto because they're saying that it's no coincidence. They think Nicki is the one behind it. Listen, I think it's hard to determine who. It could be her fans. It could be Nicki. Listen, at this point, I don't put anything past anyone because it's not a coincidence that Lotto did get into it with Nicki Minaj a few months back or two months back, and now all of a sudden, all of her music is being leaked online and she's being targeted. I don't think that that's a coincidence at all. Now, whether or not it's Nikki or the Barb's, listen, I don't put anything past the Barb's. I don't put anything past Nikki. You guys can come for me in the comments. I don't care. Okay, that's what I said and I meant it. All right, but you guys let me know what you think down in the comment section. Do you think that she's being targeted? Are you guys gonna tune in and listen to the song tonight? Listen, I'm downloading immediately. Now, I do have to ask the question, are any artists actually doing their own music? There are a lot of samples taking place recently. Everybody is sampling something. So is that the trends now or what? I don't know. I don't know how to feel about it. I know that for the most part, the artists that I personally listen to, they have been doing, in my opinion, they have been doing the original songs justice. But I have noticed that there's just been a lot of samples that have been taking place recently. Um, but you guys let me know what you think about that down in the comment section. And we're going to move right into 21 Savage. Now, if you guys recall, here recently, 21 Savage did go on an interview in which he did make the statement that Nas, who is a legend, is no longer relevant. Now, let me just start off by giving my opinion on that because I never did cover that. First and foremost, I think a lot of new artists are very delusional when it an icon does not have to be relevant. They've already paid their dues. They've done what they had to do in their younger years so that when they get to this icon status, they're making music now just for the enjoyment of making music. Nas is an icon. That's why you find a lot of these icons in their later years. They don't care about what they say. They take stances that they would have never taken when they were, you know, up and coming or when they were at the height of their career. When they were at the height of their career, they were worried about being canceled. They were worried about, you know, offending people. You have, you know, Beyonce now who's more, more vocal about, you know, how she feels about the things that are going on in the black community. You know, the albums that she's making are more culturally relevant to what's going on now in our community. And I think that when she was at the height of her career, you know, you didn't want to offend certain people. You were trying to have that crossover value. If you notice, once an artist gets to, gets to that point where they're an icon, they don't, they no longer care about that. They don't care about what they say. They're more relaxed in the stances that they take and trust and believe they're not worried about relevancy. You know, most times they're making music for the love of the music. You know, if they go number one, that's great, but I'm I'm not looking to go number one because I know who I am. You have people like Beyonce, Jay-Z, Mariah Carey, Nas is in that group. They're not worried about that type of thing. You have 21 Savage and these other younger artists who are so consumed by number ones, who are so consumed about social media and so consumed about what the public thinks that they can't see see the end goal, which is to be in the position and to be where somebody like Nas is. That's what you're trying to get to. That's the end goal. That's the trophy to be where Nas is and to still have your name ring amongst, amongst the greats and to be considered an icon, to be considered a legend. 21 Savage is nowhere near there. So I don't think that he should have ever even fixed his mouth to speak on Nas. That's my opinion. You guys let me know what you think about that. Let me know what you think about the whole 21 and Nas situation and him saying that he wasn't, he wasn't relevant. But with that being said, that's been some weeks ago. I just wanted to give my opinion on that because I never did. Let's go ahead and get into what's going on now. 
So Nas and 21 recently announced and dropped a single together, which I think was genius on Nas's part. Let's capitalize. Let's make some money off of your stupidity while you also backtrack <laughs> on everything that you said. So I think that that was genius on Nas's part. And like I said, they recently just dropped that particular single. It's called One Mic, One Gun, and it is featuring Nas and 21 Savage. Well, now that that particular single has dropped, 21 is still acting like a chatty patty. I have never heard him speak so much. He had this little album with Drake and ever since then he has been chatting, okay? So he recently took to Spaces and he said, and I quote, I've been hot for a long time. I don't do all the antics and ish. I don't got a celebrity girlfriend. I'm not finna be out everywhere. Let me go back and reread that. I've been hot for a long time. I don't do all of the antics and ish. I don't got a celebrity girlfriend. Like, back up. <laughs> Everyone knows that 21 and Lotto are dating. It's not a well-hidden secret. We just know. Just like we knew Beyonce and Jay were, were um, dating, but they wanted to keep it under wraps. This is the exact same thing. So I am utterly confused when he says, I don't have a celebrity girlfriend. Lotto is definitely a celebrity, whether you like her or not, she's a celeb. She's won numerous awards. She's been nominated for numerous awards. She is a celebrity. So listen, I don't know what's going on here. I don't know if he's an idiot. I don't know if he's just, you know, not claiming her. I don't know if he's trying to throw us off the mark, but nobody asked for that lie. You know, if it's a lie, which I think it is, nobody asked for it. You could have absolutely kept that out in making your point here. But listen, the people are saying that, you know, he's not claiming Lotto. The Lotto haters are saying that, you know what, she out here looking bad in these streets. And honestly, I don't know what to think about the situation. 21 is throwing me off with this chattiness. So you guys are going to have to let me know what you think down in the comment section. Give me your opinion on the situation. And let's go ahead and get into the beef that nobody saw coming that nobody could have ever expected. Ms. Glorilla and Monice Slaughter. If you don't know who Monice is, she was on Love & Hip Hop for a stint. She is no longer on Love & Hip Hop. But if you recall, during the whole time where Glorilla was kind of going back and forth with Hit Kid regarding her FNF hit, and they were on the internet pretty much both claiming the rights to FNM, Glorilla saying that she never got paid for it, Hit Kid saying that it was his song. During that entire time, Monice did go under the neighborhood's post and she made a lengthy post. I am not going to read the entire post, but the gist of the post was her kind of breaking down the music industry and pretty, pretty much saying that. And I quote, she said, you should have known how to handle your business, talking to Glorilla and his beat, talking about Hit Kid, created, did create you. Without his beat, there is no F and F and we couldn't, and we wouldn't know you. Listen, when she went to the neighborhood and posted all of that, my sentiments were, you know what? You're always, and when I say you're, I'm talking about Moniz, she's always in a business that has absolutely nothing to, to do with her. But because this was a blog, she had every right to voice her opinion. However, when her opinion definitely is directed negatively toward a person, that person has every right to respond back. And it sounds like that's what Glorilla did. Monice posted DMs where Glorilla did DM her and she said, keep my name out of your Z mouth. Uh, what the hell is your old is, is worried about? A young B like me when you don't even have custody of your child, you worried about the wrong damn case. Monice came back and said, wow, you're skating on thin ice, baby. And they kind of go back and forth in the DMs. I'm going to post what the neighborhood posted here for you guys to read. They go back and forth. And now Monice is claiming that Glorilla got her Instagram page taken down. Listen, that's a wild accusation considering Monice is into it with everybody. <laughs> that's my opinion. Like, how can she know for sure that it was Glorilla that got her page taken down when she's always coming at different people? She said things about people's kids in the past. You know, she's been very, very over the top in voicing her opinion and also coming at people and she is always no holes barred. So how can she specifically point out Glorilla and say Glorilla was the one who got her page taken down? Listen, I don't know. You guys let me know what you think down in the comment section. I personally think that, you know, hey, you decided to come to the internet and, you know, talk directly to her. She had every right to come in your DM and tell you to keep her name out of your email. 
that's my opinion on the situation. You guys drop yours down in the comment section, and I'm going to talk to you guys on the next video.